Hi, I'm Game Guy. Have you heard of a game called Pikmin 2? I'm gonna LP it again. <laughs> That's what I feel like doing on this particular day and time. Architate Freight is Long Haul Deep Space Shipping Company, apparently. At some point in time, Olimar just decided to get hit by a meteor and crash landed on the question mark planet. No one knows what it is. It's a planet home to all of the question marks in the known universe. Thankfully, Captain Olimar managed to escape this confounding conundrum. Uh, but unfortunately, some bad things happened while he was gone. He needed some money pretty badly. Unfortunately, question mark people are not particularly wealthy. So, uh, he did not succeed in his mission of survive, but also become rich. It's Planet Hakate. I don't care if it's not how you pronounce it, it's what I'm pronouncing it as. Get over it. Video games are weird, that's what I gotta say. It's the president and Louie, they're friends. I've decided it. Hey, do you like my ship? It looks stupid. Ah, yes, I am safe. But unfortunately, we're done, Ski. Our poor company is destroyed because Louie had a ravenous space bunny eat all of our golden pick pick carrots. It was totally believable and I had to take a giant loan or whatever. And I had to sell some stuff to pay the loan though. Like your ship? That's gone now. Thanks for delivering it to me just in time. As for the rest of the loan... That's a lot of numbers. No means to repay. Was that thing? Please stop. We've been over this. <laughs> Treasure, treasure, money, 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 money! Boom. It's mine now, I'm rich. Let's get lost, losers! That artifact is worth a hundred Pocos. That's more than a year's salary. Pocos must be worth a lot, apparently. <laughs> what? There's more on that planet. I wasn't aware garbage was literally the most valuable thing in the universe. Let's go! Well, President's probably dead. That launch sent him flying 50 miles. He only took minimal fall damage, so don't worry about it. We've got an adventure to go on. That's what's real exciting right about now. Dodge that meteor and let's go! Back to question mark world. It's the Valley of Repose. Man, nobody told me there would be weather on this planet. Man, Louie, you, you should have put your seatbelt on, guy. What even are you doing? I don't understand. I should have put my seatbelt on, turns out. Wowie and ostensibly zowie. We averted that crash or whatever. It was all me. I'm the one that did it. Anyway, Louie's gone. Um, so we should probably do something about that. Can't get more money if Louie ain't here. He's not responding via communicator. He must be flouting protocol. Dangerously. Olimar, you gotta find Louie before he freezes to death. 
That'll be bad, probably. Look at that. Wow, that poor creature's being murdered. Could those be the Pikmin? Man, they look like they're about to be devoured. I don't know, they look like they're pretty capable. Yeah, press the B button. Y'all love tutorials, right? I love tutorials. Tutorials are great. Oh man, I get to play Pikmin now. These Pikmin are actually invincible until I whistle at them, it's great. Yeah! What's up, my friends? The Pikmin ran to your side. I thought you said that this was the planet of the question marks. That, those don't look like question marks to me. Uh, give them instructions and do not delay. Blah, blah, blah. Press A to throw. Blah, 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 blah. I'm actually pretty sure they're still invincible at this point. Because I don't know how you would, uh... Succeed in your mission of winning the video game if uh, they weren't But you know Attention you have murdered something I Managed to contact Louie though. I guess that might be important. You can press the Y button to switch to Louie I don't know why you would but that's the joke. I guess Get the heck everybody get on the, the corpse, please. Thank you. Hey, Louie, you made a nice imprint in the snow. That's pretty cool. Are you safely not injured? Is that so? You didn't say anything, but I, the mighty computer, can tell by looking at your face that... Uh, shut up. Stop. Stop making potential mouth movements. I can't handle all of this potential talking you're doing. Stop it. Yo, you can like freaking pause and look at a map or whatever. It's great. Yo, check out the map. It's very map-like. That's real exciting if you ask me. I'm just gonna go over here. Say hello to my best friend. The Onion. Louie, there's an odd object, and it appears to be an onion of some sort. Bloop. Wow. Louie has never seen a plant before. He is scanning it with his eyeballs. That's, that's how Louie does his thing, apparently. You know, I, I would I would try yelling at him to stop with the eyeballs, but I've been barking up that tree for years. I think it's best to just accept it as the reality I live in. Hey, Louie, it's a Pikmin. He's a pretty cool guy. He is staring at you because that is all he can do at present. You can press the C stick to move them around or whatever, and then disband with X. To be fair, it's been a while since I've played a GameCube Pikmin game. Having a sort of refresher on controls might not be terribly bad. Louie, wipe that drool off your face. It's, it's time to get chased by a Pikmin. It's hilarious and adorable, probably. Probably. What are you looking at me for? I don't got anything to do with any of this. You're, you're the one, you're the protagonist of the video game. All right, so th this is this is a flower. It has a name, it's George. That's the joke. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> now that we have firmly established that the flower and not the Pikmin is named George, I, I'm putting emphasis on this for no reason, obviously. Uh, we can move on. This sure is a cutscene of plants growing. Yo, the onion ejected more seeds! Wow! I love it when the onion ejects more seeds for me to pluck from the ground. It's a Pikmin mothership. You can repeatedly tap the A button to get more friends. That's just how it works. Sometimes you accidentally throw your friends, though. So, uh... 
It's all a matter of knowing when and where to throw. You can murder George carelessly and callously by throwing a Pikmin directly at his, his, his uh, pellet. Uh, he, he doesn't like that very much, if I'm being honest. I mean, I don't blame him. He's a plant. He doesn't really get much of a say in the matter, though. Did I not have another Pikmin hanging out over here? I guess not. I thought maybe I would, but I did not. First day is Tutorial Town, USA. Population, getting a whole bunch of Pikmin from this onion. That's just kind of how it goes, because, you know... If you've never played a Pikmin game before, you, you got a time limit every day, and on this day, no such thing exists. I believe there should be another plant-like creature around here, but first, some product placement. Yo! Do you guys like Duracell batteries? They're pretty alright, I guess. Oh, that's one of those treasures we were searching for. Oh, the only reason we found it is because this is where we crash landed. I mean, to be fair, there's treasure all over this planet. We probably would have found treasure if we crash landed literally anywhere else. So, you know. What's more fascinating is that Olimar never encountered any of these uh, the first time he was here. I'm gonna just set some Pikmin there. I don't remember how many I need for this. I need 15. I don't have 15 at present. Guys, I need you to get over here and do that thing. Louie, go back and retrieve three of your friends. They're making a lot of noise. I don't need them making so much noise. One of you can keep going, though. I'm sure you can do it by yourself with time. Uh, I mean, he absolutely can. It's just, you know, you gotta go ahead and do this now. We've met up! Over the paper bag, we have crossed. Uh-oh. The ship's got things to say. Captain Olimar, you are reunited with Louie. Why did you bother? That's a good question. Anyway, you must feel assured that your combined wits can get you through anything. I mean, I suppose. Look at all these buttons and such I can press. Wow. I'm so glad for the buttons. All right, let's go ahead and... I think you can do five on these. No, you can do up to six. Usually the amount of Pikmin that can carry a thing is double its minimum. So, you know, that's, that's a thing. I'm gonna need you guys to get to work on Farming the Duracell battery out of the ground, very slowly. Hooray! We made it! Unfortunately, we need more Pikmin, so I can't actually lift that up yet. It is a sad day, for you see, we gotta stand over here and wait for that carcass to make its way over here. It's very important, you see, this is how, this is, this is how Pikmin works, alright? Sometimes, you gotta stand around and wait for things to happen. Even though you're on a time limit. And, uh... You know, that... Don't worry about it, it's fine. It's fine. Everybody's making noises, and it's weird to me. Why is everybody making so many noises? I didn't approve of this. Louie, you need to get approval from higher-ups. Stop throwing your friends away. So if you have both captains with you, you can both uh, tag team pulling plant people out of the ground. That is a thing that you are able to do. So now that we have 20 Pikmin, we're able to just use that C-stick to latch them all onto this thing. Eventually, uh, you get some stragglers sometimes where you can throw them and they'll figure it out. They will, in fact, figure it out. Sometimes, sometimes they'll do it. I forgot I could zoom out. That's a thing I'm able to do. By the way, if you use the R button, uh, you go back to your ship. I actually can't interact with it, which is sad if I'm being honest. There's this little area up here. There's nothing here right now, though. There's a whole lot of nothing here on day one, actually. 
I mean, it's meant to be a tutorial to get you used to things. This is kind of how it is. It's a, a bit surprising that this, like, little branch here isn't just low enough that uh, it's a problem. I mean, the battery's gonna clip through it like it's nobody's business, but hey, you know what? That's the power of Duracell batteries. They can phase through reality as necessary. It's just how it goes, man. Have you ever used a Duracell battery? It's very difficult because, like I said, they phase through reality. Uh, so getting them to actually stay lodged in whatever device you put them in is a bit of a challenge, if I'm being honest. Heck yeah! I ate that up, but good! Yo, it's the Courage Reactor! Every time you get a treasure, the ship will name it, and that's great. Our first day of exploration has yielded our first treasure! We'll be done in record time! I'll be so rich! Oh, I have canonically taken the, na the, the, the liberty of naming things. It represents my current thinking. See, I put the word thinking in air quotes, you see, because I'm a robot, therefore, it, 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 you get it. I'm sure you get it. It's funny. Anyway, I'll the Think of a catchy name for hit products. It's one of my many talents. I have many talents, by the way. I won't tell you all of them because they're a secret and not because I can't think of them. Anyway, uh, hey, so I can't communicate with Hakutate from the ground. We're gonna need to waste precious gasoline and fly into orbit. Just saying, probably something we should do. Uh, it, it's not because I'm cold or anything. Obviously, I'm a robot. I don't need to worry about it. Also, at nighttime, there's a whole bunch of creatures. They're very rude. They'll probably kill us. Or at least you. I'm a robot. It's not like they're gonna do anything to me. You guys still listening to me? Okay, you're boarding now. I can... Alright, well... Fine. It's all right, you don't have to pay attention to me. I'm just, you know, the most important thing here. Check out that bull borb down there. He's all alone. No one knows how he got there because he certainly wasn't there before. Welcome to today's report. It's the day where we have a report. Yeah, we got a courage reactor. There's a little constellation of Mr. Watch over on the left. I mean, I'm, I, I'm sure it's supposed to be like a gemstone ring or something, but it just looks like a watch to me. Why I've never pointed this out, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, we can see how many Pikmin we've gained and how many Pikmin we've lost. I'm so good at this game. I haven't lost any. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> no one can beat me. Yeah, I found the first treasure. You can check your treasure hoard and keep up the pace. And that was day one. Day one is uh, yet another day in the books. I mean, it's the first day in the books, actually. So, you know. Anyway, <laughs> next time, we're going back to Valley of Repose because uh, that's what we got to do. We don't really have much of a choice. So, I'll see you later and goodbye.